I want to address uh, the Baltimore Ravens right now. I told you this. Mm-hmm. I told you this. This relationship mm-hmm. is over. It's done. It will never be the same. Never. Mm-hmm. Never. Lamar Jackson's the type of dude, uh, and he comes from a type of place where he, you know, he might say, you know what? I ain't talking to y'all no more. And you know what? I'm going to come back for another year, and then this is it. But it's over. We may not see Lamar Jackson in another uh, Baltimore Ravens purple uniform ever again. Ever again. You blew it. I tried to say he's from Pompano, Florida. Y'all thought I was playing. Sometimes y'all got to listen to what I'm saying, not how I'm saying it. Kodak Black is from Kodak from, from, from Pompano, Florida. They hang out all the time. And you got to understand the makeup of this environment. It's about principles. It's about, oh, this is the rules we play by, we live by. I'm Lamar Jackson. I saved your job, John Harbaugh, Ashley Nicole Moss. That's what he said. You are out of here. This franchise was cooked. Mm. Cooked. Mm. Cooked. You go from Joe Flack, no Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis is gone. Ed Reed is gone. Now you got Joe Flacco. Joe, Joe Flacco's out. Put insert Lamar Jackson, MVP, winning over seven hundred and fifty percent winning percentages in his young career. It's simple. Pay the man. Did they do that to Patrick Mahomes? No. Did they do that to Aaron Rodgers? No. Did they do that to Josh Allen? No. Hell, you got the Philadelphia Eagles saying we're gonna go pay our guy. They're saying this publicly. They didn't even do it to Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones! <laughs> mm. Ashley. So this relationship is over. I can go on a rant for another five minutes, but JP, one of our social our producers here, uh, said, Brandon, you're too long-winded. Um, so I'm going to land the plane here. Ashley, mm-hmm. this relationship is cooked. It's done. You know what? I'm going to say this. Lamar Jackson will never suit up in a Baltimore Ravens uniform again. Mm. I mean, yeah, I agree with you. I feel like this relationship's tarnished. Even if he does stay, let's say hypothetically they're unable to, he's unable to find a landing spot before the season starts. This relationship is is too tethered um, to repair at this point, and you can understand why. This is a quarterback who has done everything correct. You know, mm-hmm. he's won with not having the amount of pieces he needed to really win the way that the fan base, that the organization may have wanted him to do. He's done a lot with a little bit. MVP quarterback we talk about all those intangibles he has them you know he's the locker room guy as you know the NFL likes to constantly throw around no issues off the field no issues on the field people will go ahead and try to you know use his availability and his health or lack thereof as a strike against him but there are a lot of factors that play into that regardless of the case this is somebody who's done everything possible even in the situations where he had to go ahead and kind of sidestep the landmines when constantly being asked about this during the season. What had Lamar Jackson always said? I'm just here to play football. I want to win games. I want to be in Baltimore. You know, I love these guys. I just want to play the sport that I love. All the right things, saying all the right things was like, you know, I'm going to let them handle that. I'm just here to play football. I'm here to win games. And it still wasn't enough. It still wasn't enough for Baltimore. They still took that and took advantage of it. And now you want to know, you know, why your wife wants a divorce. This is why. Because she kept asking to go to marriage counseling. She kept asking to do the, for you to do the right thing. She kept giving you multiple chances over and over again. You took advantage of it. And now she's and calling, now she wants a divorce. And it's sneaky. You know, like, it's look, ugly. you can be in a relationship. You paid Joe Flacco. Here's the problem. Like, Here's the problem. What? Here. I understand having PTSD. But, like, Lamar Jackson is not Joe Flacco. And you right. paid Joe Flacco without a problem. Mm, like, right. be for real. Listen, here's the problem. Like, toxicity can can show up and present itself in so many different ways, Ashley. Let's go back to your relationship, uh, you know, uh, uh, picture. Okay? Mm-hmm. So you dating someone, mm-hmm. and you know when they pissed off, mm-hmm. right? Because they're always yelling, they're always screaming. Mm-hmm. Oh, we have a problem. Mm-hmm. And when someone comes at you aggressively and come at you with that type of tone you either what fight or flight Mm -hmm. right but then there's those relationships like Lamar Jackson like you just pointed out and I love that you did this right because that's exactly what it is I'm just here to play football Mm -hmm. I'm done talking about my contract Put his put his glasses on. Let me put my Ashley Nicole Moss's on. He becoming different. <laughs> he puts his glasses on. He's sitting on the sideline. Then he pulled. Remember, he had to, he pulled out his his chain. Mm. He had his chain sitting there. This is Lamar Jackson last year. <laughs> he just sitting there, cool, chilling. 
Oh yeah, we got time. Got you stuff. think you have time in these relationships, but the whole time they sitting back like, man, these motherfuckers stupid. This mm. person just don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm even going on another date on the outside. I'm over mm -hmm. here. I'm out of here. Right? Let me go holler at this little receiver over here. Hey, yo, holler at your general manager. Holler, holler at your owner. Tell him I'm ready. I'm ready. So, Ashley, I'm so glad that you brought it because this is Lamar Jackson right now. <laughs> and this was this is where he's been the whole year. And the Baltimore Ravens took him for granted. And now the Baltimore Ravens are going to lose Lamar Jackson. And yep. it's sad. I mm -hmm. said this from the jump. I said the Baltimore Ravens do not – on in this very seat, I said, do not cut off your nose to spite, spite your face. You There's go. going to come a point. You, first of all, you don't have the leverage in this situation. There's not another Lamar Jackson waiting for you in the draft. There's not another Lamar Jackson that's available for you to go ahead and get within the league. He's not sitting at his couch watching and waiting. Not coming. He, he's not coming. You have your prize possession. Cherish it. Do not, do not get into a game of chicken with Lamar Jackson. I said those very words because you will come out on the losing end your organization needs him you need other pieces to win as you can see that's obvious but it all starts and ends with a franchise quarterback mm. you have one you have one who has been patient that is the key word patient because what did we say having this conversation a few weeks ago or a few days ago a lot of quarterbacks would not have shown up the way lamar has shown up the minute you made it abundantly clear that you were not going they're to they're asking him. for a trade aaron Rodgers did this oh you think Look, i'm done i just came right. off the mvp season mm -hmm. season i'm out of here i'm trying to get out of here trade me right now you don't think i deserve this come on not There's only a, that, he showed up even when you had continuously played with him and dragged your feet on the process. Still showed up, still went to OTAs, still went to training camp, still put the work in. It wasn't like, oh, you're not going to pay me? Well, I'm not going to show up. Let's go ahead and be at a standstill. He put, he gave the organization the benefit of the doubt. That's the biggest key here. He gave the organization the benefit of the doubt, and they still took that and took advantage of it. And you want to know why Lamar Jackson is pissed off? and allegedly done with you? Why wouldn't he be done with you? He gave you chance after chance after Listen, chance to rectify the situation, and all you did was continuously play in his face. Listen, now the tables have turned. 